morning from La Vosges, France. My name is Ivana and last night I slept in nature. Currently the others are taking a walk around the local lake. But where did I end up? <laughs> the local French supermarket. It's not local, it's not that local. It's huge. And something I really love to do is look at all the toiletry stuff. So in France they have Le Petit Marcelet, which is the local brand. And I love, love, love. Which one? There we go. Orange Blossom. This is my favorite scent. And they also have macarons in this um, flavor. Orange Blossom, you should really try that if you haven't before. And if you're in a French supermarket, smell this. For all my ladies, something you also really need to get in a regular uh, French supermarket. Get some yeah, mis micellaire. So, um, oh, they don't have the Biodermal here, which is the one that's most famous but you can get it in the supermarket for like four euros for all the guys or girls who have no idea what micellar water is it's an amazing very very mild way to remove your makeup it's kind of like a, it's a french invention in case you didn't know that because it's kind of like um i don't know what the what the chemical composition is but basically it's like a magnet for all the dirt and stuff on your face it was i think it was invented in paris because of all the pollution and stuff and the french girls are very very um well they really like to take care of their skin so yeah you just go to the local supermarket and get it there. oh my goodness you can get everything here what is more fun stuff you'd like to see this is all the baby stuff <laughs> me running away from babies <laughs> Um, this is all clothes and stuff. Let me just look around. Dude, aisles and aisles and aisles of wine. <laughs> wow, and more wine. <laughs> I don't watch Game of Thrones, but I do know that sentence, winter is coming. We had a little joke uh, in our group. In, in France, it's wine is coming. <laughs> Whenever you have any trouble or whatever, wine is coming, my friend. <laughs> my friend, who is basically the food guru of Dutch YouTube, my friend, is a massive fan of Dutch, of a Dutch, of French mustard. I don't know which one. And French mayonnaise. French mayonnaise is also supposed to be really, really good. You should try that if you're in France. Look at this, they even have mustard chips. Hmm, never tried that. Maybe next time when we're in France. Wow, so in the Netherlands we have this kind of mix of snacks in one packaging, but in France they do things better because they do all of these puffs together. We don't have that in the Netherlands, so this is tomato flavor. What is this? I guess nothing special. Oh, I heard from an American girl that the peanut flavored snacks are very, very um well they are not available in the u.s so you know if you've never tried that try the peanut flavor so peanut is cacahuete in french and of course fromage cheese flavor they also have quite some uh, other french chip flavor so of course the smoked ham apparently uh, this is again mustard cream onion onion is also very very french uh, Emmental? Emmental is not French. I think that's Swiss, so... But chicken... This chicken flavor, I think that's very French. And... That chicken flavor, man. You need to try that. I think that's very French. And this is something with, like, chicken parsley or parsley potatoes. This I haven't seen before, either. If there's one thing you're gonna try at the chocolate section, this. This is so good. I think this is the milk version and this might be like the dark chocolate version. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So it's bas basically a massive block of chocolate filled with um, praline. Mmm. Oh, I love this too. Chocolate with puffed rice. So good. Another thing in the candy section you need to try, which is so typically French, is carambar. But don't make the mistake I made. Don't chew this. You need to suck it. That's what he said. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Wow, look at this. I haven't tried this before. So in Norway, they had this marshmallow chocolate flavored bears. But apparently here they have koala bears. And I don't know, they have it in white chocolate too. Look at this. Oh, wow. And these are all different kinds of flavors. I would, what does this mean? Extra milieu. I have no idea. This is milk chocolate. Oh, this looks delicious, man. Oh, 
look at this and this is oh my oh my goodness oh my goodness why didn't i try this so apparently this is marshmallow caramel and chocolate with crunchy nuts what what oh this is really awesome next time i need to try this there's too much french stuff to try seriously i've already made three videos when you're watching this one the the other snack tasting video from france is already up so you can watch that one already but they have so much stuff so much stuff you need to come back to france oh the fromage section the fromage the cheese section so just like in the netherlands it is huge Cheese on cheese on cheese on cheese on cheese, my friends. I am vegetarian, but for all my meat eaters, you can eat your meaty heart out here as well. <laughs> I think that was a really wrong saying, but yeah, you can definitely get a lot of good meat in France. There's one section I still really, really need to show you. No, it's not the dairy section, although the dairy section is also good in France, but it's the uh, the boulangerie section or basically like the bread and the croissants and stuff like that yes you want to see that and the fruits fresh peaches oh these are so delicious i think i'm gonna get some and strawberries but 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 you need to have this cherries cherries in france there we go le boulanger if, actually if you're in france go to a real bakery don't buy this at the supermarket but i just wanted to show you actually everything is sold out it's almost sunday noon and it's all sold out they still have some croissants the croissants are the best you are ever going to try in your life but don't get them at the supermarket get them at a real boulangerie although this looks damn fine petit beignet oh so these are basically like donuts filled with i think it's jam in this case and i saw something else oh eclairs i wanted to show you eclairs but seriously get this at the boulangerie don't get this at the supermarket hold up wait a minute i was ready to go i got all of this healthy stuff peaches soy yogurt and then i saw this france what the f is this seriously bounty spread malteser spread Twig spread, ovo maltina. Okay, I know this is Swiss, but ovo maltina crunchy spread. Are you freaking kidding me? What is this? Banania. This is speculoos. This is Belgian, by the way. Caramel spread. What is life? Massive pots of Nutella. We don't want that. This, this. Oh my goodness. Do you know how good this will be? I'm currently drooling. Can you hear how I'm speaking? I'm drooling. This. Malteser spread, what? This is nuts, this is nuts. I want to live in France, what? No, I would get fat here. If you want to get fat, go to France. What, what is life? Okay, um, also another question, French people, because I know there are some people, some French people watching. What else should I or foreign people buy when we visit a French supermarket the next time? I can't bring that much stuff with me now because I only have hand luggage, but for next time, comment down below. This is me walking away from all that deliciousness with all of the healthy stuff walk away walk away ivana this is not the time back in amsterdam and guys i have to tell you a little secret i didn't shower in 36 hours you have no idea how smelly I am. You don't want to be around me right now. Back home and I took a really, really nice shower. I'm a fresh panda again. Packing, 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 packing. This is the current situation. And when I finish this, I'm gonna check. Wait, wait, let me. When I finish this, I am going to test the other camera. The one that fell into the swimming pool. Stay tuned, let's see if that works out. Here we go, after five days in rice, let's see if this works. <gasps> oh no, oh my goodness, no. No, the lens is not good. This is extremely heartbreaking and sucky. Do you see that water behind the lens? 
yeah this camera is pretty much ruined like always we're not talking about this we're just gonna have fun in malta tomorrow we're in malta baby and i would like to introduce you to yeah. you audrey yourself? and i'm the tourist guide yes of ivana here in malta and she was a what did you just I tell was me an extra <laughs> on game of thrones so if you would like to travel along click that subscribe button and if you like this vlog you can put a, put a thumbs up for stinky panda thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time yes i'm very very extremely bummed out i don't want to talk about this okay see you next time bye